Hey guys, how's it going? LA here. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a wiki using MediaWiki and Ubuntu. So, MediaWiki is a baseline foundation for the most popular wiki, which is Wikipedia. And it'll allow you to create essentially a wiki similar to Wikipedia uh, for collaborating with others. Uh, you can create a wiki for your home network, you can create a wiki for your office, you can create a wiki. Uh, for any or the organization that you want if you have a small church and you guys want to run a wiki you can create a wiki uh, if you have a nonprofit organization you can create a wiki and have collaboration uh, amongst you and your peers but in any case I'm sure you guys are familiar with wikis uh, what we'll do though is we'll go through the process of installing wiki on Ubuntu now in order to get started with running wiki on your Ubuntu or Linux machine, you'll need to have LampStack. Uh, LampStack is a collection of applications, collection of software that uh, is the underlying foundation for most web servers, most web applications. So uh, I've created a video in, a, in the past that goes through the process of uh, creating a LampStack environment. However, I'll go through that again pretty quickly here uh, to create a LampStack. Uh, and that will get us started with the process so first thing we want to do is we want to of course have terminal open up and we're going to do an apt get with sudo of course apt get install and there's a few applications that we want to install here so we want to install apache 2 we want to install MySQL Server. We want to install PHP 7. We want to install an uh, application, uh, a library mod application for PHP 7. We want to install PHP MySQL. PHP Encrypt. PHP FPM. PHP MB String. and PHP APCU. All right, so once you have those applications listed, we can go ahead and hit enter. All right, now that the installation is complete, we're gonna go ahead and restart Apache, and we can do that using sudo system control restart and Apache all right so the next step is to download the latest version of MediaWiki and we can do that by opening up our web browser and going to the MediaWiki uh, website uh, the website is located at www.mediawiki.org forward slash wiki forward slash download and at the top of the screen you'll see a link to download MediaWiki Now, there's a few ways that you can download uh, a file using Linux I'm gonna be using a terminal so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna right click on this link click on copy link location And I'm going to navigate to the folder that I want to download the link, which is going to be my downloads folder. I'm going to type wget here. And I'm going to paste that link. And I'm going to hit enter. All right, so we have the file downloaded here, as you can see with the ls command. 
uh, the next step that we want to do is we want to uh, untar that file so the file is compressed in a tar format we want to use the tar command to uh, uncompress it so I'm going to use tar with the parameters of xvzf and the file itself and if we do an ls we can see that the uh, file was uncompressed into a folder called MediaWiki-1.30.0. Alright, so our next step is to move this folder into our variable library folder. We're going to do that using the sudo command, the move command, as well as the folder and the location that we want to move it to which is for slash var lib and we're going to name this uh, folder wiki now if you do an ls you'll see that that folder has been moved and we can confirm that by changing directories into the var library and the ls we'll see that wiki is here and we can move into that folder using the cd and we can see the contents using ls and so now the next step is to link the wiki folder into our html folder so we're going to start off by changing directories into our uh, html folder which is located at var www and html so now we're going to be creating a linked folder and we can accomplish that by typing sudo ln s the folder in which we're going to link which is our var folder var forward slash lot lib forward slash wiki and we're going to name this folder wiki as you can see here uh, in blue uh, we have our linked folder all right so now that we have this folder linked to our html folder we want to go into a web browser and actually try to access uh, the wiki link So what I'm going to type here is localhost forward slash wiki, which is the name of the folder that we created. All right, so at this point, you might get an error message if you forgot to install any missing components. Uh, the component that we forgot to install was the XML package. So what we're going to do is we're going to install that by typing in sudo apt git install php xml and of course what we're going to do we're also going to restart our apache server and we're going to give this a refresh so now we can proceed with the install uh, via the web browser so I'm going to click on the set up the wiki link and you're going to go through the guided install on the web browser so I'm going to click on continue so in this initial page you want to look at the environmentals check to make sure that you have all the requirements for MediaWiki. As we can see here, we're getting a warning that we're missing another package, the INTL package. So I'm going to go ahead and install that using uh, the same command that we used before. However, I'm going to type in INTL. 
So with that package installed, I'm going to reboot the Apache server. And I'm also going to restart the installation. Now as you can see in this environmental checks, there's no warnings. So we're okay to proceed. So in this section that's asking us to connect to a database, it's connecting to the uh, MySQL database. Since our database is local to this machine, we can leave it as localhost. And if we want it, we could also change this to 127.0.0.1, which is also your local host. For the database name, we're going to leave that as the default MyWiki. And for the database username, I'm going to leave that as root, and I'm going to create a password. For the database settings, I'm going to leave that as default, and we're going to click continue. For the name section, I'm going to call this home wiki. However, you can call this whatever name you'd like. For the administrative account, I'm going to choose admin, and I'm going to create a password. Now, if you'd like to receive emails uh, through the subscribe list, you can type your email here. I'm not interested in sharing any data, so I'm going to go ahead and uncheck this box. And I'm going to leave the ask me more questions so that I can continue on with the installation process. Uh, however, if you just want to get right to the wiki, you can click on uh, the button below and click continue. So in the additional options section, uh, this is giving us an option of creating an open wiki, uh, which will let our wiki be open and available to everybody on our network. Uh, and that count creation required wiki, which would only allow people that have accounts created to create articles and create edits. Uh, authorized editors only. Editors that are only authorized by the admin will be able to make changes. And a private wiki uh, is essentially private and only those that are approved by the admin will be able to make edits. And the copyrights and license, you can leave that as default. Now if you have email set up, you can go ahead and modify this section. However, I'm going to leave this as default. The skins are the different layouts that you can have for your wiki. And if you click on the screenshots button, you'll be able to view the different looks. In this section labeled extensions, you're able to activate different plugins. However, I'm going to leave this uh, as blank. For the images and file upload, if you'd like people on your network to uh, upload files and image, you can click on Enable File Upload. And for the uh, cache settings, you can leave that as default and click Continue. We're going to click on Continue to proceed. and continue once again. So on this screen here, this is creating a local settings PHP file. We want to go ahead and save that because it's only generated once and that's during the installation. So I'm going to go ahead and click on save file and OK. And that's going to save that to my downloads folder. So it's letting us know that we want to put the local settings.php file 
into the same directory as our index.php and this file is located in our wiki folder so what we want to do is we want to go ahead and go back to the terminal and navigate to our downloads folder and as you can see we have our local settings file here so we want to move this local settings file to our original wiki folder not the link wiki folder but the uh, original one that was created and moved so we can do that by typing in sudo move local settings and we're going to move that to our variable library wiki folder and we can confirm by changing directories to that folder doing ls and we can see that our local settings PHP file is here with our index PHP file so at this point we can return to the browser and we're okay to proceed and we can click on the enter your wiki link all right one thing to keep in mind uh, if you'd like to make modifications you can make those modifications to your local settings file we can use the G edit to look at our local settings and as you can see here there are many different variables in here that allow you to make configuration changes these changes can be from changing your default skin and also enabled email you can change the server and you can do many different changes here you can also change your header logo image but these changes can be made using your local settings file. Now, if you try to access Wikipedia from anywhere on your network right now, you might run into some issues, and that's because the index.php file is not prioritized. So what we want to do is we want to modify the config file and prioritize index.php. To do that, uh, what you want to do is, of course, open up terminal and type in sudo gedit and you want to navigate over to the Etsy folder in the Etsy folder there's a Apache 2 folder we want to navigate into the mods dash enabled and in that folder there is a dir.config file and we're going to go ahead and hit enter now by default uh, index.php is not at the top it's typically somewhere right here and so what you'll want to do is you'll want to copy that index.php and move it in front of index.html once that's accomplished you can go ahead and save by hitting control s or you can hit the save button right here now if you try to access the wiki from across your network you shouldn't have any problems Alright guys, and there you have it. Now you have your own Wikipedia running on your local network. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Thanks for watching my video, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.